Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino. I'm Adam and this is Twala. And we are at the moment in Maui. <laughs> now, we're on our way to Lake Centrance. We're going to be catching up with two couples, which we will tell you about once we get there. So meeting friends and family for the week. Friends and family. Oh, that's a, that's a bit of a clue giveaway. <laughs> but... If you know the, uh, if you travel, have ever travelled from Melbourne to Lake St. Trent's, most people do stop off, and they're all doing it tonight at McDonald's in Maui because um, it's straight off the freeway and you can get straight back on the freeway. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep this short because one, we're going to eat our macas, and two, uh, we want to we're going to get there a, pretty late. It's been a five-hour drive. It's, it's yeah, five-hour drive with all the rain, the weather. It's pretty bad, isn't it, Adam? Yeah. Anyway, let's yeah look at it. Look at the rain. Look at the rain. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, they, still, they still do the job. Right. It's just that um, these days, yeah, you remember her, obviously, it is better, but Stop. they're half the All right, so we've made it safely through all that rain to Lakes Entrance, and we're here now in the caravan park. It is 10 o'clock. We're all set up. It only took us three seconds, and uh, the other guys are set up too. So let's go see who we're sharing this adventure with. So Adam, <laughs> should we give him a clue? Of who, who we're meeting first. Sure well, that, that sure car was in the episode. All right, all right. Here we are. So we've got... <laughs> Dusty's here. Look at Twyla. She's going, she's going crazy. And Laura and Rob. Now, you would have met them the other day when they picked up their quokka. This is our first trip away, and we're doing it Lake Central. Are you excited, guys? Oh, yes. yes very just waiting for the cold to come. Yeah. <laughs> We're all very yeah, cold. Very it's yeah. freezing tonight. But anyway. Tomorrow's going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to have another look at their van tomorrow. But anyway. And our second surprise, Adam. Yes. Do I spin around now? or? Yeah. All right. Now, after a very... Like, everyone's been asking you guys, when are you coming back on the episode? Now, you don't have your kids here, but who have you got here? We've got the, the fifth new kid. Yep. Fifth new kid. Yep. Winston. Little Winston. Winston. Yes. So this is Winston. They've left their other dog at home. If you had remembered um, Dozer. And they've left their kids at home too. Yes. yes. <laughs> First time. Yes. Yes. Now what? Yes. And, and tell us why you left the kids at home. Well, the, car the caravan park. Don't give me points. <laughs> Um, it's 18 and over on the 18 and, and over Caravan Park. But you're allowed to have puppies. But you're allowed to have dogs. <laughs> so 18. we've got we've got all three dogs here. So this is gonna be an epic adventure. So anyway, we're gonna settle in for the night and then in the morning we'll wake up and uh, start this adventure. Well guys, I've gotten up nice and early to take you around the park. We're staying at Prime Tourist Park. This place is incredible. They are pet friendly and also they've just recently gone kid free. So you need to be 18 to stay here. They just wanted a point of difference. There are so many different caravan parks in Lake Centrance. So they just want to be a little bit different. And I think they've come up with a great concept. Now let's go in and I'll show you around the different accommodation they've got and facilities. So there you have it, that is the park. Now this park is only gonna get bigger and better. They have got two glamping tents coming soon that are gonna be pet friendly and a few more sites where they're gonna be completely fenced off. So make sure you stay tuned for that and um, come and check these guys out. If you ever want to come to Lake Centrance to this pet 
friendly caravan park. Since Lee's on this trip, we may as well do his famous breakfast wraps. So I'm gonna get those pumping. Lee's gonna be cooking his eggs again on his barbecue. Now, if you remember from that episode, he had these little, like little dishes that you cook eggs in. So I'll show you those and we'll ask him again, because I don't think we caught it last time where he actually bought them from. But anyway, let's go outside of our coffees and see what everyone else is up to. Good morning, guys. Morning. <laughs> Are you eating the dog food? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm it's bad. It smells so bad. <laughs> oh, perfect I'm glad the dogs are getting along. <laughs> and over here, we've got our setup. We're just going to cook them on here, and then I'll take the eggs over to Lee, and he's going to cook the eggs on his barbecue. Good morning, Kristen. And we're going to show us your egglets again. Egg him. Egg yeah. Him. yeah. <laughs> So they're worth showing twice. Yes. So these are it. Now, do we work out what? Hillbilly. 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 So is it dot com dot au? Something like that. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hillbilly. So if you want these egglets and they clean up, show them one time. So they clean up really well. That is fall off them, and uh, you're not going to have a heap of mess. But anyway, now we've got to get back to our our site. <laughs> now the reason why I should explain the reason why these guys are here and where over there is because we bought what was it the concrete concrete slabs yeah. concrete slabs and then these guys got there it's a bit more spacious and they've got a big um grass patch here and uh you can see that it's spreading out anyway all right i'm gonna go cook breakfast so why we're cooking these the guys have taken the dogs all over to the doggy park which is an old child's play area um, so they're in there playing right now. So we'll go over and take a look before we eat breakfast. I got to go down the slide. Did ya? Yeah. <laughs> How cool is this brave. area? He's more brave than Dusty. Yeah. yeah. No, no, he won't. He won't go down. Let's go Watch this. He'll come down. Maybe. Maybe he'll get brave. Maybe. Come, Twyla. Go, Dusty. Go, Twyla. You do a twiler. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Looks like um, everyone's coming out of the dog park because uh, Lee's coming over with the eggs and the and the hamburgers. Yum. Got a barking dog. Check out these eggs. See how they just turn out so good. No burning. Nothing. They're so amazing. Those little egglets. Anyway, we've got these ready. We've got our hash browns. We've got our bacon. Now we've done these before, but they're just such a good breakfast. And then the egg and the burgers onto the wraps and we've got breakfast done. Let's do it, eh? Look at that twirl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking cocktail. <laughs> we'll get the other one. Oh, look at that. So this is the way Lee likes them. A lot of sauce. Yes. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a really broken up one. You've picked the worst one of all. That's all right. That's all right. Lee will take one for the team. Suits my character. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having two eggs. And Lee's having two eggs. We're all having probably one, but Lee's doing two. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That's it. Simple. All done. Breakfast Easy. is ready. And done. All right. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Oh, Adam, yeah. are you eating again? Yeah, I'm always eating. <laughs> no, it's my second hobby. So what do we all think? We know, well, we know what you think because you just have these all the time. Now, we've got Laura here. He's never been able to come out eating one of these. What do you reckon? Good? Delicious. Is this something you and Rob would probably cook on the yeah, road? definitely. It's good because you don't have no dishes, huh? That's right. Yep. It's all no, no plate, nothing. So, and Rob? Very nice. Yep. Very nice. Beautiful. All right. Yummy. <laughs> So to start off our day in Lake Centric, we thought we'd just walk the main street and check everything out. Everything's open, it's looking pretty good. Bloody windy, but um, yeah, so we're just down, hitting the main street and gonna do the walk. We've just crossed the footbridge. Now there is this walk, which is really good. We've done this before, a long, long time ago, um, when we come here before. And you can actually walk out to the entrance 
um, on this track so you can go through the dunes and then on the way back you can walk along the beach or you can do it reverse obviously um, and that's what tells you about the walk and then right next to this you've got a beautiful little cafe here where you can grab a coffee they've got mats out in the grass you can uh, have a seat i think i think we should come here one morning and just grab a coffee at them if we can get up early enough before everyone else are you gonna get up early yeah last one up So tall. Flathead twelve dollars a kilo. Just for coming back here. Yeah. So you just get by it literally off the boat. Straight off the boat. And yeah. They'll, they'll um, trip, trip it for you. They'll cut it up and get it on the clear. And even sell pool bags of ice. Fantastic. All right. Well, we'll definitely come back and get some fish. Siren's going off. Why is the siren going off, Kristen? I have no idea, but look, it does say there is a shark sighting in the area at Lake's entrance, so oh, no swimming for us. No swimming for us. Whoa. Dusty's got his own boat with his name on it. Let's go, Dusty. So, Adam's happy. We've just discovered a chocolate shop by the looks of it. Now, we have never seen this here at Lake's Entrance, so this is something different for us. And it looks really good. Let's check this upstairs. Okay, we're going upstairs. So besides getting yourself a hot chocolate and chocolate itself, they have a really nice view here where you can sit outside, watch the traffic going past, and you've got a, a view of the lake. How nice is that? Oh, Adam, you would like this. Chocolate pizza. Oh, gosh. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> oh, they even come in a pizza box. <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> Alright, it was definitely worth the walk up the stairs. It was a really cool little place and definitely a place you need to sit and enjoy the view while you're in it. Adam, are you in heaven? Something small will be good for doing it. Yeah. yeah. So this place, we wasn't here last time either. And it's a new place. Well, I think it's new. And it's called Big Bears Donuts. And look at this. a bit of a queue outside. Everyone's here. They've got outdoor seating, which is really cool with a nice view. So definitely the place to be today. Kristen, which donut did you get? I went for the M&M one. M&M? Yes. I love my chocolate. Ooh, yeah, how about Yum. So Adam, no donut. No donut, but But Twyla. you went to Cheap As and brought this. The Twyla. And it was Cheap As. It saves time to a table or a chair. Yes. We've gotten back from our very long walk. We probably just walked about 5Ks. Um, but it's always nice to do the Lake Centrance walk, I call it. You know, up and down the street, go over the footbridge. Um, but now we're back and we're testing out Twyla's new lead that we've put in the ground. We should have brought one of these a long time ago. They're brilliant. Check this out. So that's it in the ground over there. And then she's got this lead goes all the way there, past Dusty and over there. And she's loving it. So Twyla's gotten used to her lead now on her bed. And um, we're just here at the front of the park. And a Jayco has just rocked up. Look at the size of it. It's huge. Yeah, it's got a pop out. Yeah, it's massive. Yeah. So we've just come down to Off the Wharf Fish Shop. Now this is on Bullock Island. This is where you can come and grab fish. Sorry about the wind. 
um, and you can buy it fresh straight off the boat. Um, so we're going to get some from here and then we're going to head over and grab some from um, actually off the boat itself. So we just made our first stop to grab, what did we grab, Lee? We got some gummy shark. Gummy shark. So we're going to batter that. Kristen's going to do a nice batter. And now we're going to go down and see if we can grab something from that boat that we saw before. Yeah. 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 So anyway, let's go down and grab some more. Oh, and I got these. Look. Woo! We're going to try one of these. Yeah. Now, if you're wondering where you where we just were, where we brought the fish from, that is on Bullock Island, which is as you drive into town, um, it's just on your right hand side. So anyway, it's really easy to get to. Just ask the local, they'll tell you where it is. So we've got our fish, now we're heading back to the car and we're gonna have that later tonight for dinner. So we've just come down to the servo. This is where we're eating. I got told this is a great place, and I tell you, the food looks amazing. Just kind of snacky food, Mexican, bit of chicken, chips, and um, they've got different ciders, and, but I'm, I'm actually having something totally different. I'm having a, Jack Daniels and this place used to be a petrol station hence the name um, back when we were kids we used to fill up here anyway I'm gonna go order some food and uh, see what we can uh, order hey Twyla <laughs> What have we got, Adam? So we've got the chips, like Laura. Chips, are like Laura, yep. Chicken, like, dried chicken dried chicken into the barbecue. Yep. Um, the chicken's at home with their own made sauce. Yep. And then we've got jalapenos. Oh, really? the uh, Jalapenos with some sort of sauce. Yeah, I've got Looks like a herb one. one. Yum, this looks so good. And then this place is Good. Yep. So sometimes, if you're lucky, they have live performances on in the afternoon. Um, even the owner is singing, about to sing. Um, the owner of the caravan park. But um, yeah, we're just sitting here out oh, here with our chairs and our dogs, and uh, we're all scattered around. <laughs> and we've even got a fire going over here, and that started. And here comes the music. Sweet and spicy mussels. Oh, that's what we brought Pickle. from the um down at the surf. Yeah, the co-op. Yeah, yeah, the co -op. Yeah, cool. You gotta eat one, Adam. Yeah, okay. Like aliens or something. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah. That's it. Yay! Do you like it? Are you gonna spit it out? <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna spit it out. <laughs> Like pasta sauce or something. What? What? Did you like it? No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, Adam is it? is it? that your new hat? <laughs> <laughs> do the walk again. Do the walk. That's it. I don't no, do no. It. Go back and do the walk, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, is that your hat, Kristen? Yes, it is. It yeah. was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't you want to get one of those when we go to the rock this year next yeah, year? Yeah, but I want to get some fixers. We're going get a net. Yeah, because we we're, we're heading to where we where we going Uluru. next year? Uluru, Uluru. Laura and Rob. In four months. In four months, and we're gonna and Adam wants and be attacked by flies. Yeah, so you want to get a something to yeah. protect yourself. Kristen's got herself a new toy. What's this one? <laughs> is this a new wine table? Wine time table? Yep, it's a quad spinifex oh, gold yeah. table. Oh. Well, that was a long setup, Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way I like it. <laughs> All right. There's, um, now, is that a problem? There's holes in the table? No, because it's for all my drinks. Oh, you thought your drinks. <laughs> we could play pool on that. <laughs> Have you got the balls and sticks? Ping pong. <laughs> Beer pong. Beer pong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, then it straps down like yeah, that. Just oh, yeah, just too tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it all taut. Um, taut. And then you yeah. got your little pocket on the front for your bottles of wine. Oh, chips. Sorry, got that wrong. Or the dog. Or the dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's it. Done. There you go. Can I put my feet up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've just all ran inside. Why? Because it might have rained a little bit. Yeah, little if we bit. just go over <laughs> Kristen's shoulder, you can see that was a nice new table she had. Now it's soaking it's wet. wet. It's so we're in our van. It'll dry out. Best part about having a van. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Rob and Laura in their van. So we just thought we'll come here, have a glass of wine to get over the wetness. <laughs> 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 Adam's misbehaving there. Yes, that's shown my age. Yeah. Do you know what that means? Right. Do you know, is he eating on the channel or doing it on the channel? <laughs> <laughs> Lee, you look a bit suave there with the leg cross like gross. that. Yeah. Well, okay. well I'm, on, I'm on the fancy stuff. Oh, yes. Red Bull and vodka. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, cheers to the rain. Have you got your colour? Cheers. cheers. All right, cheers to the rain. Guys. Cheers. Well, the good news is the rain has stopped. It's a bit windy, but Lee has built this fortress around his Joko van with Kristen. Kristen's help. It's all me. Yes. And um, now I'm a little bit scared because Lee has just got his brand new knife set out. What? Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> He's going to show us how to cut up some fish with his new knives. I don't think you're filleting, are you? You're just cutting. No, I'm just cutting. Oh. He's just that's a, fancy. That's a, lot of that's a lot of knives, Lee. Just to cut a fish. Oh, my Lord. But anyway, let's go over and check it out. Oh, so wow, I'll, Lee, I'll, that, I'll, that was pretty serious. Oh, I'll stop. That's not I'll a knife. A, no, I, was, I was going to use the boating knife. Yeah, okay, yeah. But We'll just use this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, really, so we've got a bit of gummy shark here. Gummy shark? Gummy shark. Oh, mate, I'm getting a bit shark? of Jayco advertising at the same time. They're not going to give us stuff in that room. <laughs> you never know. They might give us oh, a new wow. free there. Wow. Gummy shark? That is gummy cool, shark. Man. So that's the gummy <laughs> shark we picked up today. Are we caught? What? We, <laughs> we Lee, caught. They know we didn't catch it. What, with your bare teeth? Bare oh. grill style? <laughs> Hey. Spear fishing. We went spear fishing. <laughs> a lot of hard work when it's catching this. <laughs> is literally, can I just ask a question? Literally, yep. is that why we got the knife set out? To do that. Are well, we still filming? Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> no, I just. <laughs> this was for the Euros tomorrow. Oh, the spit so I, I can slice. Don't tell anyone oh, about sorry. that. We haven't, we, we're not up to that part. Uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, we need to cut that. We'll come inside the Jayco van and. Uh, what, are you drinking beer? No, it's for our beer batter. Oh, fish. what a good opener. So, um, yeah, all the all the lights are going out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you're going to make the batter for our fish. Yep. So you're going to show us how to go, what you put in it? Yep. All right, what are you going in it? Pretty easy stuff. We're going to start with some flour. Um, just to make it nice and crispy, we use a bit of baking powder in there Ooh, as well. Okay, I didn't know that. Bit of paprika, not too much, so bums are going to burn the next day. 
Yeah. Oh, no. And the all essential beer. Any beer would do, but hubby's drinking this one, so this one's gonna yep. have to do. I don't think he's getting any of that. Nope. All right, let's start. Measuring cup. <laughs> not that I really measure. No, you said you're not. You don't no. really. No. You just go by feel. I go by feel. Oh, that was a cup. There's a few of us today, so I'm going to put a, probably about a couple of cups. Yeah. Oh, and I haven't told anyone yet. I'm doing hot dogs in batter because I don't eat fish. People are going to be going, what? You don't eat seafood? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so and so, what? How much of this you put? A bit in? of baking powder. Baking just powder? about one will do. Yeah. One teaspoon. One heap teaspoon. And this makes it really does make it crispy. Yes. Oh, cool. Delicious. Yum. A bit of paprika. You can put in as much as you want. I don't think you can go wrong with paprika. No. Yeah. Is that um smoky smoked paprika? Just normal. Just normal. Oh, okay. it is actually smoked. Yeah, smoked. It is smoked. Ah, uh, yep. Not Perfect. too hot. Yep. And then all essential. In the beer. Yeah. Oh, this is the part where Lee cries. My beer, my beer. <laughs> he gets to have it with his fish, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, now that we whisk it, you're going to add a bit of. Just a bit of salt and pepper for yep. a bit of flavour. You always got to have a bit of salt and pepper. You got to have a little bit of salt yes. and pepper. Yes. Pepper. Nice. And give it a stir. Awesome. And then your batter's ready to go. Lee is filling up the camp oven with oil to fry the fish and my hot dogs. Yes. 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 The hot dogs as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're kind of camp cooking ish, you know. So while the oil is heating up, now you have to go back a few episodes ago. We ran into a lady in a caravan park that gave us... Oh, look, Lee's going to... Wait, I've got to turn around. That gave us this $80 bottle of champagne. <laughs> Lee's lovely advertising it. Um, we're going to crack it open tonight to celebrate Laura and Rob's new van and our lovely friendship. All right. <laughs> hey, Lee. Yes, we are. Is this the first time you met Laura and Rob? No, I'm joking. No. You've had plenty of times. All right, let's crack it open. And you know uh, how they normally, you know how they push some boats? Yeah, yeah. They smash this over the boat. <laughs> oh! So Should let's go, go over there the and smash it. On the Quaker. On the Quaker. 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 Quaker? <laughs> oh, okay. All right, let's go smash it on the Quaker. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys. Well, here we go. Congratulations, Rob and Laura, on the new van. Thank you. Woo! Jeez. What are we going to do with champagne? Here we go. It's not too bad. It's just, yeah, okay. There's always one in the group. All right, so we're doing my hot dogs first because... <laughs> we don't want it to taste fishy for Dean. He yeah. doesn't like fish. Oh, I can't stand fish. <laughs> you know, I just noticed over your shoulder is another Jayco sign. I'll tell you, you'd think they're sponsoring this bloody video. But anyway... <laughs> no, I'm just dusting in a bit of flour. Pretty much the same seasoning. As we did for the batter, yep. minus the beer. Yep. Okay. Here it Dusting. goes. Dusting. All right. Dusting. And in it goes. Get <laughs> that snag drip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Let's go in with that. Woo. And there we have it. That's the first one in. So we're dipping in plain flour, then dipping into the butter. And then into the oil. Oil. Um, and this is the baby shaka baby shark baby shark baby shark. So it means gummy shark. shark. Oh gummy shark, okay. Not baby shark, gummy oh, shark. Oh should have done all this. Baby <laughs> <laughs> Oh well Lee. That was a really pretty photo. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show that at your yeah, 40th. Yeah. So the dogs are just chilling out over Stop here. Swapping beds. swapping beds. And then over here, Adam's just getting the salads ready. So with the fish, we've just got a normal uh, tossed salad, a pasta salad brought, and a one of um, the coleslaw with Adam's special dressing that he makes, um, which I think we've made that in one of the episodes. But anyway, and uh, then Lee has gone out and brought a... 
dill uh, tate sauce. So we're all ready to go. First fish out of the fry pan. Woohoo! Look at that, that looks good. Looking nice. What do you reckon, Adam? Yeah, it looks good. Yep. Mm -hmm. All that sweating and uh, oh, yum. Look at that. Just swallow it, people. <laughs> We're going to have this bit right now because I can't wait. Can't wait. Mm. Good? Yep. Very good. Yeah. How'd you go, Adam? We got your salads? Yeah. <laughs> So now we're putting in the flathead. Yep. So they're cooking away. Now, flathead is one of the fishes that Lake Central is definitely known for, and one that our nanny used to cook for us every time we come here. Every Even though time. I didn't eat it, but you yep. swore by her batter. Yeah, her batter was the best. But now you say that Kristen uh, does. Apart from my wife's batter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't. You could, remember, yeah. she's sleeping in the same caravan as you two. <laughs> so you better say And I've got sharp knives as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Best batter in best, the world. Yeah, yeah. Best batter. But anyway, so anyway, they're in there now. This is the last of it. And then uh, you guys can have dinner as well. Okay. We'll let you. Twyla, get down. <laughs> oh, my God. No. It must have smelled really good for you. Um, what do you what do you think, Laura? Yeah, mm. yeah, good. Sorry, I know you just took a mouthful, but yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, Beautiful. absolutely delicious. delicious. Yeah, and you can you tell the difference between the, you know, it's light, and crispy, and lots of soft. flavour. The fish is nice soft. and soft. Not like that uh, stall brought stuff. No, not oh. like no. our frozen whatever it is. Yeah, that's what we buy. Yeah, six six month old flavour. <laughs> yeah. Adam is getting his flathead. Especially yeah, broken. Here it is. <laughs> it looks good, Mark. It looks, really yeah, it's grass, yeah. Should I feed him? No, you're not going to feed okay. Adam. I'm going to feed his brother in law. That's what we do, don't you? No. Let's see what he thinks. The taste test for himself, Adam. It's more fishier. It is more fishier. The, the flathead, flathead, you don't really taste fishier. For me, it tastes more fishier. Compared to the, to to the, the, to the shark, yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Then how are you liking your own labour? Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you've done well. Say so myself. Give some tickets to yourself. <laughs> the the um I love my uh, hot dogs. <laughs> yep, it was beautiful. Adam's gone back for seconds. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't, I don't Thirds. <laughs> Thirds. <laughs> and that's a flathead on your on your thing, eh? Yeah. And these guys are finished. Look, completely empty. It must have been good. So all the dogs are finally asleep. So we've woken up this morning and headed straight down to the footbridge. We thought we'd get a coffee across the actual footbridge itself, um, but it looks like it's closed. So we, we've got plenty of other places to pick from. There's plenty of cafes here, but it is absolutely beautiful. Look at this cracker morning. Unbelievable. No wind, thank God, because I'm sick of hearing the wind in our videos. And, um, it's just a beautiful day and to make it even better we're heading off to a winery today so this is gonna be a great day so what did we get Adam it's cappuccino and croissant croissant Ooh, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Twyla gonna go in? Oh, Dusty! <laughs> Got chased out of the ocean. <coughs> oh, it's gonna get wet. Look at Twyla, she knows. 
she does some sand back. So we finally made it to Lake Centred's best spot, the beach. And um, it's Dusty's first time ever at the beach. I remember doing this with Twyla in one of our episodes when she went in the water, I think it was in New South Wales, for the very first time. She was a bit scared, like Dusty is. But uh, Dusty's actually got his feet wet. So, and I think I'm about to get my feet wet as well. <laughs> back from our walk uh -huh. and we've got all the dogs are in the pen about to have a play date so it's so good having this pen here they can just go in there run around have get their energy out go up and down the slide uh -huh. and uh they love it good boy. Good boy. so we're about to head out again for the day but i definitely put on a whole heap of sun cream because i got burnt yesterday i'm so disappointed with myself i just didn't think it was that hot and then because of the wind um and i got burnt so i've you can see my face like beetroot uh, <laughs> i've got to put sun cream on i'm all ready to go got on my arms but what are you doing laura what are you doing you're giving it a sweep sure I am. but why is your broom so weird looking well it's on an angle so it gets into the corners of the van that's awesome idea i never thought about that for our van and i did see it on another Channel, so oh, do you want to give them a shout out? <laughs> I can't remember who they were. <laughs> but, yeah, awesome, awesome. Um, Where did you get it from? Bunnings. Bunnings? Oh, okay. W. All right. Well, we're we'll gonna have to look for one of those. Yeah. It's an oat. No, it's a subco. Oh yeah. Cool. What is it? What is? Where's the brand? Subco. Subco. Ah, oh, there you go. All right, guys. There you go. There's a tip. Follow Laura. Yeah. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look inside. Let's have a look inside. Ooh. Let's have a look inside. 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 Let's have a Nice um, bedding. It's looking good. Oh, I like this, Laura. Yeah. It's handy. An Audi special. This, Audi this special. One? Yep, yep. Nice little That's cool. Oh, look, Twyla's just made herself oh, at home. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> you got, got some toys there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but one um, thing I like this, yeah. this big cupboard. Yeah. Um, so so that wasn't part, getting... that wasn't meant to be? Like there's an extra you got put in? Yeah. Shelving? Um, yeah. How so good is that? Look at all that space. So we would add this in. Yep. Um, and this, because one complaint like people would always say on YouTube was there was nowhere for their dirty clothes because we don't yep. have a washing machine. So we just added this basket in. And, uh, oh, how good is that? Now we've got a laundry hamper out of the way. Awesome. Cool. So no dirty clothes. And how are your vents going having the two? Oh, is so, that good? Yeah. Doesn't fog up. Mirror doesn't oh, good. Yeah, yep. Good. Hi, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at them. Mm. You like it? A lot more space in our van. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot more space. There's Dusty. No. So, he's enjoying van life. That's the question, Rob. Oh, yeah. yeah you love is, it? It's an amazing it. van. We're really happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of opportunities, plenty of space. Yeah. Yeah. Too much storage. Yeah. Too much yeah. storage. Yeah. storage. Like, I know. First. That's the first. Know, that's like, like we've hardly filled any of the Nothing. cupboards. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We really yeah, yeah. don't Does... need a lot of stuff. So yeah, you got heaps yeah. of storage. Just yeah. so much all the way around. Yeah, I, I think those Next. ones are all empty. <laughs> I, I was saying to Rob the other day. I was saying um, that maybe he could literally have a cupboard for each of his hats. Because <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> you're so spoiled on space. His hats are there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're up there. Tell you what, Dean. Yeah. Um, diesel heat up. Oh, fantastic. We only had it on. I don't know. We can't even go past halfway because it's too hot. But, um, and it kept the about a quarter of a way, and it's nice. Yeah. Nice wow. And, and yeah. it hardly uses up much detail at all. So no, really you and Lee were saying that, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, Lee. Mm. Very impressed with it. Very impressed. Because yeah, Lee's has just got a new one as well, because he's never had it, and he's loving his as well. Yeah. Mm. So, all right. Well, it looks like, Adam, next Maybe winter, we, yeah, we yeah, might winter. have to get a... Diesel, we'll bunk, yeah, diesel, we'll bunk it down in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really quiet, actually. We had to just turn it yeah. off after. That's why, minutes. because you yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you have your blinds closed, mm. you're saving on diesel. Yeah. Yeah. Because once it's warm, it's warm for a while. Yeah. It was even warm. Well, it's different well. also because it's heating from under the van, so the heat's coming up. Yeah. Where, when you're using the overhead, 
it's it's coming down, but he wants to ride. If so. We find it yeah. hot around here, but it, the bed area is still. Ah, uh, okay. Cold. So when you're using this, it yeah. doesn't it doesn't feel as good as when you're having okay. this down low, which is all the way down here underneath. I can't even see it. There it is. Um, so you can see that little hole there. That's where the heat comes out of. And they're saying that's a lot better. And if you had seen their episode of when we did the tour of the van, um, that there is the control to control it. So anyway, all right, well, let's hit the road, guys, and head out for the day. All right, on the way to the winery, but before we do a quick stop off at the Eastern Beach. Now, with these beaches, this Wild Lakes entrance has been so pet friendly. It hasn't been funny. There's been so many dogs around. But do be aware that there is parts of the year, which we're a day out from, where dogs aren't allowed on the beach pretty much through summer. Um, they're not allowed on the beach here. So, not, I'm not saying it's all the beaches, because I don't know, there might be ones where they can, but these ones, like Eastern Beach, um, certain times of the year, no dogs. So, we're going to enjoy it today, and we can enjoy it tomorrow, the day we leave here. Uh, yeah, no dogs on the beach. So, anyway, let's go check it out. Um, is this even 12 o'clock, Adam? It is. It's after 12 o'clock. Oh, just after. And Lee's talked you into having a beer. Yeah. Love yeah. Lewis's time when you're on holidays. All oh, right. That's, that's right. All right. Well, let's head to the winery. So we've just rocked up to Wyanga Winery. This place is absolutely beautiful. And if you come to Lakes Entrance, you definitely want to hit this place up. It has such beautiful wines and also they do some amazing foods. They have indoor and outdoor dining and your little fairy friend is welcome, which is always awesome. All right, well, let's go order something to eat and have something to drink. So one of the things they started during COVID was these paddle boards, which you can order and pick four different types. It's like doing a tasting, but they bring it to you. And I like the fact that they have kept this going because I actually enjoy these. For only 10 bucks, you can get four different wines. It equals one glass. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start tasting my paddle board now. And which four oh. flavors did you get? Oh, wow, well, these are the ones. Oh, yeah, I'll just do these because I'm not going to read them out because I'll probably stuff it up. But they're the ones I've chosen. And um, it just goes in the order of the board, how it comes out. And then over here, Adam has gone and got, what have you got, Adam? I've got a pink lady, I've got uh, apple cider. A pink lady uh, apple, apple cider. Apple cider, okay, yeah, cool. And you can get beer and all those things as too. So if you're worried, if you're worried that you're with a group of people that aren't into wine, they do sell other drinks here, which is good. So what have you chosen off the board? I've chosen the, I think it's called a Bubiella. Bubiella. <laughs> Blush. Yes. Which is a rosé. It's actually Swedish, which is my thing.
one of the best things about this winery is that you can free camp here. Look at these guys, they're all setting up, ready to free camp. As long as you're self-contained, because at nights when everything's locked up, there's no toilets, and uh, they do have cameras, so they can see if you're doing things in the bushes. So <laughs> this is an awesome thing they have here. All you need to do is grab yourself a glass of wine or grab a platter and it doesn't cost you a cent. But how cool is this? And it's such a nice space. There isn't too many level areas, so just make sure you've got all the gear to get yourself level. But otherwise, these guys seem to be happy. They're all setting up and these ones were here when we rocked up. How cool is that? On next week's episode, Lee cooks up a storm. He gives Rob some fishing tips, not fishing chips, and we head into the bush where we get hit up by a snag. Will Lee be able to save the day again? You'll have to find out next week. We have plenty more awesome food, awesome views. So if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe and tell your friends about us. And we'll see you next week at 5 p.m. See you guys.